Express Fireside Chat, we have a really special guest tonight. Um, uh, real Sangoma, a traditional Sangoma. And her name is, I hope I can pronounce it right, uh, Kaisla? Kaisile. Kaisile. Yes. Welcome to the show. I'm really excited to have a chat with you and just find out more about, you know, what what uh, a traditional Sangoma does. Very interested. Welcome to the show, Kayesile. Uh, do you, you mind if I call you Gogo? Yeah, it's fine. Call me Gogo. All right, Gogo. So, yeah, you know, very exciting to have you here on the show. So, yeah, Gogo, can you can you please tell us a little bit more about what a traditional Sangoma does? Hi, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, all right. Very, very um, glad to have you on the show, Gogo. Can you tell us a little bit more about what a traditional Sangoma does? Okay, I will quickly say a traditional Sangoma do different things. In terms of a traditional sangoma, can read through bones, can 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 take out bad spirit to someone, can read through a, a, a person things, anything. Through that is thing. so interesting. Yes. So what you're telling me here is a traditional sangoma can read the bones for someone. Yes. Cast out an evil spirit. Yeah. Can they contact the ancestors for you? Yeah, yeah. Before, before, you, before you can read bones, you just start contacting with the, your ancestors. Oh wow, that is mm. that sounds so interesting. Can you maybe how does that, elaborate? How does that us? work? Yeah, how does that work? Like, can you describe what that process is? The process is maybe I could I could quickly explain how I did go through before I could start reading the bones. Okay. Yes, yeah. That'd yeah. Be yeah. Great. Uh, how, how, okay, let me explain uh, in a short, short, short way. Uh, it was a normal day, and then I just had like a weird sound in my head, in my ears. I, I cried so loud, and then and and then I, I could I could hear voices like uh, grand grandparents' voices in my head, in my ears, and then I was just saying, "What's happening in me?" And mm-hmm. then. And my family was so surprised. My parents were so stressed. That's when I started realizing, you know what, I have, I have a calling. I, I, I need to be a Sangoma. Wow. Mm-hmm. After that, after that, my brother, my big brother, Rato, started getting a prophet, a big prophet, which is he, he's a he's a grand uh, grandfather. He just started uh, giving me something for me to, to cool down, for the ancestor to cool down, and then he. Teaches me how 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 to how to understand my dreams, and then after that, um, I started dreaming my grand my grandparents where I should go and start practicing being a sangoma, and how 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 to how to understand my ancestors. That's when I started being a sangoma. So being a uh, being a sangoma, uh, it's not like a difficult thing, but it's a difficult thing because you need you need to, you need to connect to your different spirits. Uh, mean, but not bad spirit usually. Our grand grand grandparents, our grand grand gogos, our grand grand little, little child, like all the, the the past past parents who died, and that's what we are calling our sisters. Yeah. Um. How can you tell? I'm just interested. Like, do you have any methods to tell when you're in contact with a good uh, spirit as opposed to a bad one? The bad one, yeah, yeah, yeah. the bad one uh, is so so bad. You, you could struggle. You could even you can even get sick after it. Mm. With the bad spirit, yeah. Okay. Because it's not easy. It's not easy because the bad spirit they go they go doing wrong things all over the world, all over the all over all over the people. So it's not good for for for, for the bad spirit. But we do we do we do chase bad spirit. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yes. So yeah, I'm really I'm interested how that how that works. But sorry, um, interrupting. Um, so um, if you're trying to reach out to your ancestors, is the process is there a different process for talking to your ancestors as opposed to speaking to a spirit? 
No, uh, there are three different things I could explain. First one, uh, we, 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 we say it's Pasha. When we Pasha, that's when we connect to ancestors. We use we, we use a, 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 a candle. Uh, we use uh, something like a uh, paper. I could, I could say it's a paper here in South Africa and a snake to connect with the ancestors. And then secondly, where uh, they came when you're sleeping, that's when again you, you could co connect with the ancestors. And thirdly, not even do like using anything, you could connect with ancestors. Very, very interesting. I feel like you're giving me a lot of information to process here. So what I'm wondering here is that why why do people want to reach out to their ancestors? Why do people, mm. um, is it for advice or is it for a blessing or? Uh, I could say it in a shortly way. Here in South Africa, we believe in ancestors and, and we know our ancestors do give us blessings. That's why we have uh, traditional healers, we have spiritual healers, we have Sangomas in here, South Africa. So, uh, in mostly back years, our ancestors were, were Sangomas and we were practicing spiritual things. So, that's why uh, in now, in these years, we become Sangomas because they wanted that thing they were practicing years back to be doing, to be done again here in, in this years. So, that's why Sangomas, we do it. So from what I understand is anybody can come to a Sangoma. It doesn't matter what your religion is. Maybe you're a Christian or a Muslim or... Yeah, 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 yeah true. Why but, is that? But not everyone. It's a gift. I could say that. It's a gift. It's oh, a right, gift. right. Yeah. But I mean, as a, like, when, let me just explain here, like, for... The average person who is not a Sangoma, just the average guy on the street who wants to maybe speak to his ancestors, maybe he wants to see the bones. If he's a Muslim or a Christian, can he go find the Sangoma and get the the guidance? Yeah, 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 they can. But but with beliefs. If you believe, you can come and consult to me and I'll control bones to you and tell you whatever's going happen to happen into your life and everything. But with beliefs, I could say that if you believe, people do come. Even Christians, they, they, they here in South Africa, there are some Christians, they say, we don't believe in Sangomas, we don't believe in ancestors. But when things are bad in their life, they come running to our Sangomas and consult to our ancestors behind their, behind their back. Oh, so, Yes, so it's difficult in South Africa. And in, in these years, here in South Africa, being a Sangoma, like it's a fashion. Like everyone wants to be a Sangoma, even if knowing very well you, you're not gifted, but they want to be a Sangoma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. So how can, how can we know if somebody is a real traditional Sangoma who has been chosen instead of some kind of a fraud or a fake? A How fake. do we know the real one from the Hong Kong? Uh, the real one you could see by, by the job, I could say that, by the job and the connection of your ancestors. And then the bad one, they will, they will obviously gonna be a fraud to you. They won't do it, things in a straight way. Oh, all right. So, but like, let's say somebody who's never, they've never been to a Sangoma. It's first time going. How can they, how how can they know this Sangoma that they're going to, is a real one? How can is there like, a process that they can check or know? I think you could see by your changes in your life. If you go and consult your Sangoma and give you something helps to to help you go through to your ancestors, you will see a difference in your life. If you see any changes, mean that Sangoma did a very good job. That's great. Yes. Wow. When, when you say when you say like um doing stuff straight, like is there a specific sort of a way that that you work, like that you could recognize in another Sangoma or do you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And we, we do specific things. There are some there are those things we go through there for us to connect. 
and there's something we use. So it's like it's not a normal thing. You could say now I could go and pray, I could go to church and pray and pray and pray and everything. But uh, through our process and talking to the ancestors, so difficult. And, and and you need to you need you need to talk to your heart, to your mind. You need to, like you need to concentrate towards everything for you to get that thing. So what kind of a pro? You said like what what kind of a can you describe that process? I'm just really interested. Like, what would that look like? Uh, process. I could. Uh, okay, let me explain in which way. Because in here, South Africa, we have different process. A uh, process whereby you're going to be teach to be a sangoma, go through with that your 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 Josie, your ancestors, and again, uh, people practice the ancestors things in their homes, whereby we we slot we slot. We slot our animals. Uh, we, we 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 talk to our ancestors. We do something for them, and then go to the graveyards and everything. That's what we they do in their homes. And then uh, when you're a sangoma, it's quite different, but not so differently. But hmm. yeah, different. Thank you for sharing that with us. Now, I've actually got some questions which I'm dying to ask you. Okay. I see. I've got a lot of friends and some of them, maybe they have relationship issues. Maybe they want a promotion at the work, something like that. Yeah. Can the Songoma help them? Yeah, yeah, we do help. We do help. We do help. Uh, we start connecting to their ancestors, to us, to talk to us. And then we have uh, different apps which, which I could give you to use them like like it's a different different way it depends by by, by the people assistance depends by the people said i cannot give you a uh, different uh helps to do it but know it very well it won't help you i need to be sure first i need to consult your assistant first for me right. to do the right thing so mm. let's say somebody has lost their lover yeah and they, they love this person but they don't know how to get them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a love spell. Yeah. <laughs> right. So can, can you tell us a little bit about this love spell? Love spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being a Sangoma, we do, we do that. But it, uh, it, many Sangomas do it. Some of them don't do it. It depends. What does it depend on? It depends whereby... Uh, how 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 much you love that person? Are you willing? Are you willing to do it? If you you're willing to do it, then uh, we use we use different different helps for you to connect to that person. Some uh, some of them are some of some of in South Africa. They call it ukliswa, uh, like to put something in your in your food for that person to come back or to, for that person to love you more, for that person to love you forever. That's that called ukliswa. Oh. Yes, yeah, so many, so many women do, do, do use that. But me, I, I, I usually don't want to do it because I, I, I just feel if I do it to someone else, what will happen afterwards if that person it doesn't work? If, some, 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 some of the, some of the people in here in South Africa, uh, their ancestors are too powerful, whereby you, you cannot even try to do it to love spell that person. Oh, so try, what, mm. you're, what you're basically telling me is like, if you're trying to put a love spell on somebody, but their ancestors don't approve, yes, the person yes. you're trying to put the love spell on, their, their ancestors will come and block that. Yeah, it would eventually block that person. So to not, to have, to not have that love spell. So, so everything depends on the ancestors, basically. Yes, yes. If they are willing, that's why you have to go to them for the guidance first. Guidance spirits, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. right. So, um, look, I'm sure that there are many different situations that you get confronted with. I'm sure that some people, they have the lost lover. Other person, they don't have the lost lover, but they have somebody, maybe they admire this person. Yeah. But uh, they don't, they can't win their heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I so, so is there a different thing that you would do for that person or 
um, do you have like a spell for every situation or is there no, just no not in, in, in every situation sometimes uh, uh, being difficult difficult in a relationship or in a love thing uh, it, it can be caused by our ancestors number it can one be caused. Mm-hmm. so so maybe what you're telling me here is if two people are together yeah, and they're having maybe the divorce or something let, maybe let me, it's their ancestors interfering there yeah let me let me let me do a simple simple example here in south africa when we when we do a traditional wedding that's where that's when we start uh, connecting with our ancestors we join our ancestors maybe sometimes you get married but not doing that not even even that uh, your, your man paying a lobola to you number one uh, lobola lobola it comes first when you're a black woman here in south africa if your man didn't pay a lobola and started go where uh, started started saying you're 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 you're, 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 you're the wife you, you married to that person and then uh, our ancestors did know did don't know that so firstly we need to connect to our ancestors saying that uh, this man and and woman are gonna be together i married they did pay lobola and then they, 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 they will be gonna be together forever that one is quite different but not it not if you didn't do that it's so way different because your ancestors starting uh, fighting back for you oh to- interesting so what you're telling me here then i just make wait make sure i understand you're saying that actually most people don't realize it but the ancestors play a very big role yes. in our day-to-day lives yes a, wow. big, a big role a big role wow mm. you know many people in the west they don't think like this yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't even think about the ancestors. Not at all. Not, Not at really. All. Not no. at all. Wow. So that's yeah. that's really interesting. So, you know, I've I've watched a lot of Hollywood movies about interesting. traditional healers, Sangoma, and then they often they show the Sangoma doing black magic. Maybe an enemy betray you, and now you want to curse this person. Yes, this person. Yeah, you want you want to draw it back. Yeah, is it? Is that something that some gomas really do? Yeah, they do it a lot. That we call it a witchcraft. Nothing. It's a witchcraft. I could say that it's a witchcraft here in South Africa. And there are so many some gomas do that. Even a person they can they can come to you and call out so that I want I want to do something to that person. I want I want that person to 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 be cursed. So mm-hmm. so when when do you know? when it's right to curse somebody is it is it like a you as a sangoma let's say let's say i was going to come to you tomorrow and i say all right please help me my friend betray me now I want to curse them um will you just curse them for me or or will you first consult the ancestor personally for me i i, I don't usually do that i don't believe in cursing someone mm. i don't do that I don't promote that because I want I want my spirit and my closey and my ancestors to be on a clean in clean place whereby they, they they help people they heal people they 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 they, they search people they do like good things by my side good things by my family good things by 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 my my my, my customers I don't mm-hmm. I don't do that but here in South Africa so many sangomas do it yo rich card yo so there, so there are some gomas out there who, who will throw a curse and so what you're telling me some some are have no problem doing it but yeah. then others they stay away from that yeah yeah we do stay away that away from that because usually we have uh, 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 this, uh what can i say uh different spirit of which we do if you have a bad spirit, we have been witchcraft, we do go through that process whereby we need to take that bad spirit from you. Um, so do, that's why it, we do, I usually don't do bad, bad things because I know the process of, of taking out a person, a bad spirit from him is so difficult and oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know so, even how to explain. So when, when you're if you, if you were throwing a curse, not you, but another Sangoma, they're they're calling on a bad spirit to help them do that. Is that right? It's not right. It's not right. Totally right. No? Oh, okay. All um, right. So just a 
different kind of spirit? Yes. So, um, you know, I still have a lot of stuff that I want to ask you, and I hope I'll be able to ask all my questions in this episode, <laughs> you know, because this is just, wow, uh, something that, you know, people, I, I think it's not just me who wants to know these things. I'm, I'm sure many people out there have, have these questions. So earlier you spoke about using the bones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when when would you do that? When when would a sangoma, consult, you know, throw the bones or look at the bones? If you are a sangoma, at any time of a basis, if you feel like you want to search such such life through yourself, such life through family, you can even go to to your 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 your, your, your working place, which we call it indumba in a Zulu is in a Zulu is in a Zulu language. We call it indumba. You go there and speak to your ancestors, throw bones and check everything. Again, we throw bones if you have a customer. If someone came in to consult, we do throw bones. Some of us, uh, some of our Sangomas use water. They use water in a spiritual way. They they they, they consult through ancestors with water. Some of us they they, they consult uh, through ancestors like looking at you. That's when they start reading everything. Well, what's going on in your life? What's happening? What will happen? Yeah, that's yeah. Now, why do they? What kind of bones do you use? Animal Initial bones. bones. Initial bones. Uh, goat bones. Because we some of us we use we use mostly on your basis like uh, goat. And, why? And, why? And, and why? Cow, and a cow goat and a cow bones. Why specifically? Mm -hmm those bones are not like a chicken bone or something you know what uh, i think i'm not even thinking i would explain like uh our ancestors back then usually use a uh, uh, chickens we use we use but not a uh, bone chicken they usually use a goat and a cow a goat because a goat do cry a lot Oh right. Yeah. So and, it's uh, about the nature of the animal. Nature, yes, it's about nature. It's about nature. Because when you're Sangoma, we usually uh, use use uh, animals, different animals. Even your sister to come in a different parts of animals. Now you could understand me. This is what. This is what. This is what. Oh. So what you're telling so, me is that the ancestors can actually speak to you through the animals as well. Yes. And that's why you use. Most of the time, it's like a goat or a cow, and that's why you're using those bones. Yes. So if if a, if a goat because they cry, um, why a cow? A cow, I think uh, it mentions a cow. It's a big thing. It's a big. Uh, it's a huge big thing, whereby mm -hmm. a cow it uh, could explain more. It could explain uh, more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All and, right. I'm I'm just curious too about you. You mentioned that um, you also use water. Like, can you elaborate on that? That's really interesting. Yeah, in water, in water, uh, you, you just consult your angels, which we call angels. You you pray, you pray, you go through your angels and your ancestors. You pray and pray and pray with that and normal water. We just pray for that that warm water, and then news started coming, started talking, started whatever whatever comes to your head it will go through that water. Oh, so the water is kind of a way of purifying the communication. Yes. Thank you, yes, yes. Well, that's really interesting when you think about that water has a memory. Yes. And so then, every everything and everywhere that that water is experienced, apparently, this is what I'm understanding, is that, that water can remember that stuff. Yes. So that's really interesting. Yeah. Wow. So now what I'm wondering, um, because now from everything that we spoke about, it seems to me like throwing the bones and using the water, these are th like tools. Tools. In the, yeah, tools that the uh, Sangoma use. Yeah, that's a tool. That's a tool. So those, those are the tools in the Sangoma toolbox. Yes, so now, <laughs> so, yes. so, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Yeah, so, so now what I'm wondering, are those the only tools aside from herbs that the Sangoma will use or are there other tools that they can use as well? I, I, I think mostly that's the two tools. Oh, the two preferred ones, right? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You prefer that ones. And I normally even go, even if you can go and pass it, you go into a national, national in, in, in a national school day, in a traditional way, they, they, they teach you how to go through bones and water. So mm. this is something that I think many people overseas in Canada, America, they don't know this. Um, no, no. <laughs> in South Africa, we basically have a, 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 a school for Sangomas. Is that what you're saying? Yes, we do. They, they, we do have, we do have, which they, 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 they call those people uh, Gobela, number one. We call them Gobela. Uh, uh, Gobela means um, uh, a big a big person to, 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 to you, which will, will help you to go through that process of being a Sangoma. It will teach you everything. It will teach you to help, help. He will teach you bones. He will teach you how 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 to dance for your for your ancestors. He will teach you how 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 to rip your head when you're sleeping. How the ancestors come. That's why we call it a uh, gobela. That's why we call it a school school of tradition. Tell me mm. more about tell me more about dancing for the ancestors. I'm yeah. interested to hear about um, that when you said when you're sleeping the ancestors come. So maybe you could elaborate on that too if you don't yeah. mind. Okay, on that uh, it comes. Comes for, for 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 many people. In even you, you could you, like when you dream. Mm -hmm. When you dream, yeah, like dreams. Uh, I usually explain to, to people when you dream. Number one, you check your your surroundings. If you dream like something special for 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 you, you check the surroundings. If you dream a yeah. person, you check the, the the person facial expression expression. You check the the, the person what 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 the person says to you. That's when you will you will usually understand your dreams number one. Mm. And again, uh, dreaming you can dream anything. You can dream money when you're sleeping. And usually, if you, you believe in sister, you understand you know what maybe something will come. And usually, maybe if after two days, maybe a person come or after three days, maybe at work they will give you an increase. That's when you understand. You know what? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, this dream yeah, did happen to me. To me, that's where that's mm. when. Again, we believe in dreams. Yeah, I'm very interested in dreams, actually. So mm. Mm. that's great. So earlier you told us about some gomas can cast an evil spirit out of somebody. Yes. Now I'm wondering if you can maybe tell us a little bit more about these evil spirits, because I've heard a lot about the tokoloshi. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, maybe you can just talk to us about that. A uh, 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 comes in a, in a different forms. In a different forms. A person can give you a tokoloshi by a, by a cat, by a dog. In most in most daily basis in here in South Africa, they use dog. They use cat. They use a baby. A baby. A working baby. Like a, maybe a, a ten year or eight year old baby to be a tokoloshi to you so a tokoloshi mm. is that a good or a bad spirit bad spirit bad they, spirit why why yeah. do you say it's a bad spirit because a tokoloshi to you it comes in a bad spirit it takes everything to you you won't even see why why your life is going there will be ups and downs in your life uh, you, you you won't even have a job you won't even have if you have a cent here you won't, you won't even understand what happened when I, I was having that money it have so many so many things different things you have you, you you know you usually experience difficult life that's when tokoloshi comes to you and you mm -hmm. and normally tokoloshi made by a person how how did you mean it the tokoloshi comes in the form of a dog or a cat or is that what you're saying like or a younger person uh, uh, usually when they come it's yeah some are some of the people they even see in their eyes they even see in the eyes, mm. like see, see here is a is here is a black 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 dog here, black 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 cat here. You even see it. Some of them they see when they're sleeping in a tree in their dreams. Some of them they see they they hear they that spirit in the house when they're sleeping or whatever it happens. Some of them they came and eat food in your home. If you left that food on the on the fridge or stove, when you come back in the morning there's no food. What what happened? Ah, they send, so, they come different form. Something that I also want to know here is you're saying that the tokoloshi is a bad spirit. Yeah, very but, bad. But but 
the Sangoma is the master of these spirits, right? So can a Sangoma actually use a Tokoloshi to curse somebody? Yes, they, they use it. They use so it. So in that sense, it's good then, right? Because yeah. it's, it's helping that Sangoma. Yeah, for them it's good because they, they benefit. It's good. Oh, all right. Yes. So is a Tokoloshi the only bad spirit out there? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's the only bad spirit here. Oh. Bad, 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 bad. Because the Tokoloshi, they do it in a different forms, different forms, different forms. They do it. Can you tell me then maybe a little bit more about the good spirit? The good spirit. The yeah. good spirit, I, I could explain in a different way, like in a simple way. Mm. Uh, good spirit, for example, if, 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 if my mom died, Mm -hmm. uh, here in South Africa, if, after my mom died, I'm gonna call it an assister. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Maybe in a uh, in a normal day of me being in in, in a head head days, I, I'm so disappointed in everything. Maybe uh, that day at night I sleep and I dream my mom came and brushes me and say or oh, talk to me and say you know you know what my daughter it'd be fine. That's a good spirit. Because I know my mom there, she's helping me going through mm. life in this world where she left me there. That's mm. a good spirit, yes. And then some of them, they come in there, uh, grand, grand, grandparents, or fish, I don't even know that grand, grandparents, but they do came, they do come and talk to me. So, but you know what, this and this and that, do this and that, do this and this, and we'll be come together and this will be positively fine. That's mm. a good spirit. Yes. Maybe again they can uh, a good spirit come in, in in a lucky. Maybe I could bash a lotto. Eventually that numbers came in. Or some other day, some of the people they do they, they do dream buying a car eventually and life goes on, life uh, um surprise thing came in and then you and you buy a, that car you wanted to buy a car. Some of them, they, they, they do dream getting married and eventually things come together and then you lobola that person and get married. That's how, that's a good spirit mm -hmm. game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific spell or ritual? Because you mentioned that, you know, good things can come to you, like you can win the lotto, stuff like that. Is, yeah. there, is there a specific thing that I, maybe I want to win the lotto and so I, Go to a Sangoma. Is there something they can help me to increase my chances? No, yeah, they can give you something. They can give you something. Maybe some good luck. Good luck <laughs> things, yes. Good luck things to use it in your life and then think proper and yeah. Then you win the lotto. Right. Now, many times I see just me walking down the street, I see advertisements for Sangoma, stuff like this. Uh, and then <laughs> these advertisement on the advertisement they say maybe you know for a man he's struggling to perform in the bed you know what I'm talking about yeah yeah um, can Sangoma really help with that yeah we can we, we do help with that we have specific specific uh, natural helps we do use we do give you to use them and then things go well yeah and so this thing is successful. Um, people go there and they, they, you know, they get their problem solved. Yeah, they do get. I did. I did have a customer that came. It's in some other years came with that problem, and I did help. And he came back again. So you know what, Coco, you did well. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. So, wow. You know, um, how can how can people how can people reach you, like? Because I've got I've got many friends. Some of them, maybe they you know they're lonely, and they they want a lover. Other person, maybe he, he wants the extra money or just some good luck. Um, I've got many friends, and they always come to me. They say, my friend, I have this problem. I have that problem. You yeah. know. And so I want to send them to a sangoma. And so I think if if I'm gonna send them, I'll send them to you. So how can people reach you? How can is there? Do you have a website? Do you do you have a phone number? How can yes. people reach you? Yes, I have a phone number. All right. So so what I think we'll do is we'll leave the 
can we leave your contact details? Do you have an email address? I do have an email address. All right, so we'll, we'll leave those contact details in the description of this video if you want to reach out to the Sangoma and, you know, get some, get some help from the ancestors or whatever your problem is, then you can reach out. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Thank you. Thank you very so, much. So another thing, many times I hear people, they, they don't speak about Sangoma, they say traditional healer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, Does yeah. this mean maybe I, if I have cancer, HIV, something like this, that these traditional healers, they can help me? Yes, they can help you. Even if you're a Sangoma. Like, when you're a, a, a traditional healer and a Sangoma, yeah, 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 two things. Yeah. Oh, right. So, so um, what do they do? Do they just do some kind of like magic ritual to, to help me heal? Or do they... Do they put a person on a, like a path, you know, you get, you have to, you have to do this. Do they give you some instructions, things to do to, how exactly does that work? They usually give you instructions to use when they give you that uh, herbal things uh, and it all helps for you to help if you have a cancer. They usually give you an instruction to do it. Do they do have instructions for that? And can a traditional healer heal all diseases or some things there that you that you can't heal? Uh, what, I, what, what I can explain, we, we, we quite have different, different, different gifts when you are traditional mm. healer. You cannot heal someone, uh, everyone, you cannot heal everyone. That, that's quite different. That's quite so, 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 so different and difficult. You can, I cannot heal someone who is crazy now. Know it very well. I cannot heal that person, but me forcing and call me, uh, calling myself a sangoma, then I have to first do that. No, no, no. Just quietly, a big no. We have different uh, gifts when we are traditional healers and a traditional sangoma. All right. So some of us, uh, we we are meant we are meant to read bones. We are meant to give people herbs. We are meant. Uh, to talk to people, to go through whatever their problems, and to know more about ancestors. Some of us, they they they, they meant to 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 have those traditional kids to 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 help the kids to know about uh, being a sangoma and everything. Like it's quite different. So some of here us in here South Africa, they do force, they do ever do force to do everything. But knowing very well, me as I'm can you see, Koko can you see, this and that, I can't do it. But, oh, so what yeah. you're telling so, me? So different sangomas have different gifts. Yes. If I'm if I'm if I'm understanding this correctly, basically what you're saying is like doctors. Each doctor specializes in their field. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Right. So yes. maybe you'll have one doctor. He's a pediatrician. Yes. And then you'll have another doctor, and he's a bone specialist. Yes. And so this is the same with the sangoma. Some sangoma they just focus on one field specialized yes or or to, according to their gift according to your gift yes mm. so, so some of us here in south africa we do force because of money we, we force to do something official you know very well it won't work but because of money you want to do it so yeah some of us we don't even understand their gifts oh so you're telling me that there are some Sangomas in South Africa, and these ones, maybe they don't have a gift for, for a specific thing, but because they, they need the client, yes. they will just pretend. They will just pretend to, to do whatever they want to do it to you. And how can I, how how can can I tell? tell? Because what if, what if me as a client, what if I want only the legitimate one? Uh, 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 what can I say? Uh, some some of us, some of some of us, they do this. You came in, you consult. Okay, fine. You consult like a normal person. You consult after that, and then you will tell you know what you know what, uh, mom. Uh, you know what you have you having a gift. Knowing very well, I don't have a gift. I came here having my own problems because, but knowing that uh, knowing very well, I I want that money. I will tell you that you have a gift. You need to come and trust her. You need to come to be a sangoma here. That's what most, 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 most sangomas do in South Africa. Oh, wow. 
So it seems to me then to find the really true Sangoma, the really true one, is hard. It's hard, very hard, very hard. I could I could say to myself, I'm so fortunate for me, for my ancestors came in, in that way. Because me, I never I never went to consult to any Sangoma. And I was there, I was uh, 18 years, 18 years. I'm, I mean, I'm nine years now in this field. I was 18 years and I, I didn't go anywhere to consult to any Sangoma. I didn't even dream anything. It quite happened automatically to myself. Wow. Yes. That's so great. some some of some of people they go consult some of them they, they they even dream some of them they even get sick yeah they, like so many different paths so many different things happened but me I I was so fortunate that my 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 ancestors automatically came to me but for me because with love with understanding of how ancestors go I did I did. Uh, I love to do it, and I, I, I opened my heart. You know what? This is this thing. It's hardly hitting me. I need, I need to, I need to do it and get done. That's what happened to me. So, 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 so you weren't chosen by like a fake Sangoma. You, you were, you were called. You like a calling. Me, me, my calling, my calling came automatically. I, 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 I no one, there was no one told me that I'm going to be a Sangoma. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. You're, so your she ancestors. Was, were yeah, she calling. was called by the ancestors. So, right. so I guess, I guess this is how you differentiate, right? A real Sangoma is called by the ancestors, but Some fake one. Fake one, the false. Oh yeah, the fake one is is maybe trained by somebody else. Yes. But um, they w they never received a higher calling. A higher calling, they never. Oh, all some right. Some of them they 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 come in a in a way out. Some of them they get sick. Some of them they 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 see things. Some of them they hear voices. Some of them different things. Mm. That's when you will know that you know what I'm having. That I'm having a calling of being a sangoma. Oh wow! All right. So that really answers my question about that. You know. So basically. Um, but I think it's rare. I think there's not a lot of people who are called by their ancestors. So to find the true one, um, I think it can be really difficult if you maybe from a country like America or, you know, where they don't even have the Sangoma. And so then, then you want to come to Africa, you want to find the, the true Sangoma and you just find just, uh, you know, a shyster there on the street. Yes. And he doesn't mm. know know anything, but you think, oh, this guy's legit, you know, because you don't have the experience, you can get fooled. You could get fooled. Fooled, 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 fooled. All so, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'd mentioned earlier about dancing for the ancestors, and you never got a chance to talk about that. Oh, okay, dancing. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They teach us how how to dance for ancestors. They teach us. They teach us how how to dance for ilozi. Ilozi. That a specific thing that makes you to go and twasa. Ilozi. We call it ilozi. Our ancestors. Ilozi lako. Whereby ilozi lako they 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 will teach us how to dance it for it. And we dance in a different form. We dance in a different way. But be dancing. Uh, that that spirit eventually com comes up, and that spirit eventually dance in a that way, in a different way for it. Do you mean like the the as you're dancing, you're inviting the ancestor into your body? Or is that yes. what I'm hearing? Yes. And then and then it's the ancestor that's dancing. Yeah, that's the ancestors dancing, and eventually, if they wanna talk, they will talk. If they, 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 they be a grandfather, will, 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 will talk. Will sit down and talk and say one, two, three. And eventually, you can even, even our voices changes. Even our facial, uh -huh. and facial face changes. Even everything changes in your body. Yeah, that I totally sounds, believe that. I've, I've known a woman a lot who like, experienced that actually. So yeah. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds a lot like channeling in. In the West, we'll call it channeling, where you get the spirit to come inside your body and speak yes. through you. Yes. All right. Yeah, so, it sounds exactly the same. Yeah, channeling. Channeling, yeah. So, wow, let me tell you. Okay. I think a lot of people learned something today. 
yeah. from Sangomas. Uh, you know, this is not knowledge that is available to everybody in the West. Um, it's it's something that I'm sure many people are wondering about and want to know about. And you know, I really appreciate that you're here to give us the information. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And and uh, today it, it, it was a, it was a special chance for me. And you know what? Me, let me tell you something up uh, that I did dream uh, in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I dreamed uh, two white people, two white grand 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 grandparents came to me, uh, giving me a uh, gold rings and gold everything. Everything was nice. And then today when I wake up and I say what, ish yane. Because today I'm gonna talk with white people, Western people, way way far from South Africa. And then I say yeah, that dream came true today. <laughs> Today is a special day for me, a very special one. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank mm. you so much, Gogo, for taking thank the time you. to talk to to me to us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, is there any? Um, I don't know, Zola. How much how much time do we have left? So uh, we've got about. We're just coming up to about ten minutes. Oh, great. So, is there? maybe a positive message or just something that you want to leave the, the listeners with? Uh, a positive message is listen to your ancestors. Listen, uh, check on, on your dreams. Uh, when you're when you, when you, when you, uh, a Sangoma or, or, or a, a traditional person, I could say that. Listen to your ancestors, listen to your heart, listen to your head. The ancestors that do talk to us, the ancestors that do come to us, the ancestors that do do positive to us, if we listen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Gogo. Listen, really, it's a real privilege having you on the show, and we hope that maybe in the future you'll come back on the show and talk to us again. Yeah. That would be really great having you on again as a guest. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Zola, any final thoughts from you? I guess I just want to say thanks. Thanks to everybody that's here and uh, to the people that are going to be listening. And thanks for your support. And maybe give us a thumbs up. And um, we'll see you back again real soon. And until then, bye for now. Bye for now, guys. Bye.